so let's begin our discussion with the interactive question we are is a 47 year old lalu who is an alcoholic brought to emergency in a state of stupor uh, and after emergency treatment neuromedicine is uh, called up for clinical examination upon examination he found the weakness in the flexor of lower limb and extensor of the upper limb and uh, then mri is done next day and when t2 mri will reveal there is a high intense lesion in entire corpus callosum so what is your diagnosis of uh, uh, in this case uh, so see the four option given out here and uh, to get into this four uh, out of the one, uh, one of this four, four correct answer we have to first identify the pathology what is the pathology the pathology is known as marchia fever bignami it is uh, seen in demyelination of corpus callosum in cases of chronic alcoholic so uh, a and b is out of the equation so uh, we have left out left with only two options c and d and uh, here we are seeing hyper intense lesion so hyper in intense lesion generally in seen, uh, seen acute and subacute marchia fever bignami cases so c is our answer so what is marchia fever bignami it's a demyelination of corpus callosum and uh, in such cases earlier the uh, we uh, earlier the people used to find it in the post mortem uh, examination uh, uh, examination only and uh, right now uh, with advent of uh, radiology and uh, improvement in clinical medicine uh, clinical neuromedicine we have found such cases there are practically two types one is type a and type b type a generally come with acute onset marchia fever bignami and with a, with a entirely there is a demyelination of corpus callosum and splenium and it is it is having much uh, poorer diagnosis here we find uh, there is a flexor in lower limb and uh, weakness in the flexors of uh, lower limb and uh, extensor of upper limb which is which is uh, pointing towards the pyramidal tract lesion which uh, which is a uh, in a uh, according to uh, to the diagnosis which is which is acute onset marchia fever bignami and uh, it's a, it's a uh, two type there is a type a and type b so type a generally give with acute and subacute presentation and uh, the type b is uh, give a uh, quite uh, quite uh, chronic presentation and which is having much uh, favorable uh, favorable prognosis and what is the treatment we can go for we uh, here uh, accord, uh, along with the alcoholism one, one one important another important factor is malnutrition and there is a drop of vitamin b level all the vitamin b level uh, so vitamin b supplementation is a uh, one of the one of the more impo most important uh, thing out here vitamin b supplementation is the, the cornerstone of uh, cornerstone of treatment and apart from that uh, we we can give there are the studies that have shown the amantadine and uh, have, a, have a pretty encouraging result amantadine generally used in uh, parkinsonism certain cases and also earlier used in, uh, in uh, treatment of influenza which is which is not used anymore and uh, uh there are certain cases we can use steroid also which i have given uh, in uh, encouraging result too hope you like this particular mcq and uh, here the answer is uh, c and uh, if you if you like us uh, follow us in the, uh, uh, facebook youtube and twitter these are the two book already uh, came out from m excellence uh, series and uh, these uh, mcqs uh, these videos and the books not only important from the indian pg perspective uh, they are uh, important they are quite a uh, matter of effort i have uh, given uh, so that uh, it it is remain uh, also important in cases of overseas uh, licensing examination thank you